This is Morganarchy and today I have got an assortment of various Asian sweets and treats. I don't know what half of this is. Most of it hasn't got a word of English on it. Most of them I cannot trace a country of origin. I haven't the faintest idea with most of this, but we'll start with one that I can sort of read. This one. Tiramisu by Orion, and it's a t an Italian cake. Uh, eat soon after opening, avoid direct sunshine. But I cannot trace a country of origin. I have no idea. But it did come in a bag of miscellaneous Asian treats, so I'm going to presume it's from Asia. Some Asian country of some description. Could be China, could be Japan, could be Korea, could be Taiwan, could be the Philippines, could be anywhere. Next we have got this. I haven't the foggiest. Are they melons? Mangoes? They're certainly not lemons. Maybe they are lemons and I'm just going to look like a fool. But they're 50% something. And they're quite soft and squidgy. Haven't a clue. I don't know what this is. I don't know where it's from. I couldn't even tell you what language that is. Is it is it Chinese? Is it, is it Japanese? Is it Korean? Uh, I don't think it's Korean. Nope, I, I don't know. I do not know. I don't know what any of this is. Next, we've got um, this. Uh, it's multigrains, whatever it is. And it's got pictures of seeds in it. And it was made in Taiwan. Thank you. We've got an origin for one of these products. And it's vegetarian. And it contains milk, wheat, egg and soybeans. So, am I to assume there's no peanuts or anything in it? No, these just seem to be various grains and legumes. So, um, am I to presume this is like a healthy sort of snack because it's got whole grains in it multi grains and no preservative it's very hard it's very textured if you scrape your fingernails along it it's uh, got quite a strange sort of texture going on next we've got this pudding soft sweets now everyone knows what that is that is a creme caramel creme caramel quite possibly one of my favorite desserts ever but i cannot trace a country of origin i can't trace anything all I know is that says pudding soft sweet and that's a creme caramel and it is incredibly soft next we have got this it's a block of black is it chocolate is it bean paste it, it could literally be anything actually I am going to assume it is bean paste because there's beans on it they are quite clearly beans but then they could be foxing me yet again and it could be you know, cocoa beans, soya beans, any sort of beans. I might have assumed this is just some miscellaneous bean mashed up and put in a stick. Uh, good for provider. Who is the provider? Ah, uh, no. I don't know where this is from or what it is. So, if anyone knows what any of this is, Feel free to let me know in the comments if anyone speaks any of these Asian languages. Right, next, we've got this very hard brown nipple with a nut inside. What the hell is this? Uh, huh, I do not have the foggiest of ideas. It's, it looks like a hard candy, but there's something inside. Looks like a piece of nut or fruit or seed or something I guess the proof will be in the taste of that one because I don't know right, I realise now I have made a massive error I have said these are Asian things and these are quite clearly German that one's sour cherry flavour and that one is Turkish fruits flavour but that quite clearly says Turkish I don't want to humiliate myself at my lack of German that I claim to know a little bit of. Uh, Sustakite. Subikite. Subikite. Uh, Geschmach. I know Geschmach is flavour. 
Uh huh. Yeah, sour kirsch geschmack because kirsch is cherry, of course. Anyone that doesn't even speak German can work that out because of the name of the cherry liqueur. So that one's sour cherry, and this one I presume is Turkish fruits because it says Turkish fruits on it right there. <laughs> and it also says lukum, which I don't know. That's not a word I recognise. So yeah, brilliant. These aren't even from Asia. They're from bloody Germany. Oh, and there's another one, I think. Is that one? Yep, yeah, there's another one from Germany. And that one's open, I think. Uh, not quite, not quite open. And it's from, uh, that one's lemon. Zitronen. Yes, I could have worked that out by the fact it's yellow. And the fact it says lemon on it in English. And finally we've got this. I am going to presume this is some sort of milk flavour thing because it's got cows on it. And cows produce milk. And again, no country of origin to speak of. What is going on? Where is this stuff from? I can't trace any of it. So, let's get some of this in me gob and we'll find out if I, if I am a, if I'm still none the wiser or if I can work out what some of them actually are. Probably not. Okay, so, soft pudding sweet. I didn't expect it to look like that. It's like in layers, covered in sugar. Very strange. <sighs> Someone asked me to smell that and say, what does it smell like? I would say the syrup on the top of a creme caramel. <sighs> Absolutely stinks of the syrup on the top of a creme caramel. It's very jelly-like. Not how it looks like inside. It tastes like a creme caramel. It tastes like a creme caramel that's been burnt. The caramel has a very burnt taste to it. Quite bitter, actually. I wouldn't go as far as to say it's unpleasant. Well, if the UK or America ever made a sweet that was supposed to be creme caramel flavoured, I can guarantee it would actually taste like one. Unlike that. Okay. Multigrains. Thing. <laughs> okay. That looks like a massive breadstick. Out of a Dairy Lee Donker. And it smells like, um, it smells like there's uh, the bedding that you put in rabbit cages. Oh my god. Fucking tastes like the bedding you put in rabbit cages. It's got the texture of if you left a what's it on the table for about three weeks and then ate it. And it has the taste of a Dairy Lee Dunker stick that someone left out for three weeks. That is absolutely fucking awful. <laughs> that is awful and that can go and rot because that is rank <sighs> that stuck in your teeth as well that green bit okay the mysterious beans that I'm never going to be able to open in a million years without a knife smell of anything. It still doesn't smell of anything. It's got a really weird texture. 
It feels like... Forgive me for saying this, but it feels like a very soft silicon dildo covered in KY jelly. That is what it feels like. And I hope it doesn't taste like that. It doesn't smell of anything though. Oh Jesus, it's soft as out. Teeth just go through it. What the hell is this? It doesn't smell of anything. It doesn't taste of anything. It feels like a lubed up dildo. And when you bite into it, it suddenly becomes as soft as... <sighs> butter, I suppose. It literally tastes of nothing. Nothing at all. If anyone knows what this is. Besides from the most nothingy tasting thing on the planet. Just, uh, just let me know. Right, something that hopefully has a bit of bloody flavour next. Tiramisu cake. quite cute. It's a little round cake. There's the hole in the side that I presume they put the filling in. The top's quite soft. The bottom's rock hard. It smells of coffee. Doesn't taste of coffee. There's the cream. I haven't actually tasted the cream yet. That first bite was just, um, just sponge. I need to try a bit of the cream, Dora. Considering it's supposed to be coffee flavour, the coffee flavour it has is incredibly mild. Which I approve of, because coffee is rank. However, because it's a pastry, it suffers from the problem that it's a pastry that's been in a foil pouch and has therefore got a very strange texture, a very strange taste, and the buttercream has gone rock hard, and it only softens up when it touches your saliva, and the sensation of it doing that is awful. If this was baked fresh, like I'd got it straight from the bakery and ate it, it would probably be very nice, but the fact it has been in the packet, and gone weird in the packet, it's not unpleasant. That can go in the middle pile. The other things will buzz you off. The, the little pudding thing can go in the middle. So in the middle we've got that cake and the little pudding thing. And on that side we've got the god awful Darily Dunker stick and the thing that just tasted of nothing but the, the texture of it and the appearance of it has really put me off. Right, let's try the little candy with the cows on it. Can you see that? It's got textured like fish scales. It's really strange. Doesn't smell of anything. It's hard. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Japan. You have redeemed yourself. You have redeemed yourself very well. I really like milk flavoured things. And they are even rarer in this country than banana flavoured things. So to actually get a candy that is milk flavoured, I am very happy with this. I'm going to take it out of my mouth, put it back in the wrapper, and enjoy it properly 
when I have finished tasting the rest of this stuff. Because that is very pleasant. That's the best thing so far in this bag. Okay, let's have the strange Turkish delight. Let's start with the lemon one. Very squishy, very squishy. Doesn't smell of anything. One thing I've never really understood about Turkish Delight is if it's supposed to be rose flavoured, why do they make other flavours of it? That tastes like nothing like Turkish Delight I've ever had. Nothing whatsoever. It doesn't even really feel like Turkish Delight. It feels like a very, very soft jelly sweet with a dust and a sugar on the outside. It also doesn't really taste like lemon. Well, it does taste of lemon, but it's a very, very mild taste of lemon. Pleasant, actually. I think the problem with a lot of lemon-flavoured sweets is they make it too lemony. Too lemony, too overpowering. And it just tastes like you're drinking washing up liquid. This is very pleasant. Very mild. Very jelly and gooey. Not bad. Not bad at all. That can go in the middle pile because it's okay. Okay. Sour cherry flavour. That smells like cherries. And I don't just mean artificial cherries, this smells like real cherries. And inside it's a very light pink colour. I'm getting the cherries, but I'm not getting the sour. But then again, we have established that British people like incredibly sour things. This just tastes like real cherries. And it just has the sort of sourness that a real cherry would have. It tastes like real fruit. It doesn't taste anything like Turkish Delight. I don't know why they're marketing it as Turkish Delight with a straight face, because it tastes nothing like it. <clears throat> but, again, perfectly pleasant. Now, the mysterious green one that is just fruit flavour. Will you be better than lemon? Because I doubt you'll be better than cherry. Mm -hmm. I'll just eat this piece that's come off. That doesn't taste like any fruit I've ever had. That tastes like toothpaste. That tastes like mint. That tastes like someone had a fruit sweet and dropped it in toothpaste. That is vile and can go in the rank pile. Oh, one moment. Awful, awful, awful. Absolutely awful. Fruit my ass. Ugh. Okay, mysterious hard candy with a thing inside it. Incredibly sticky candy as well. No, it's out the packet. The thing inside it is actually poking out of the sugar. What is that? I have a horrible feeling it's some sort of like insect or something embedded in honey or amber or tree sap or something unpleasant. <laughs> Best case scenario, it's something like a nut or something. The outside tastes like a very strange barley sugar sort of flavour. 
but the thing inside and now it's got wet has gone a funny colour and is really putting me off tastes absolutely awful it's rock hard I don't know what it is I haven't got a clue if anyone has a clue of what this bizarre thing is but um I'm frankly not touching again because it's rank. Please let me know. And finally, the mysterious mango slash lemon slash what on earth. I think it's another spongy cakey sort of thing. It's got the texture of shortbread that's gone soft. The top of it's quite hard and the outside's quite hard. Inside's very soft. It's very crumbly and it's leaving a lot of stuff on my fingers. It feels like shortbread that's gone soft. It's got a texture of shortbread that's gone soft as well. It's got fruit stuff inside. What fruit it is I can't tell you. But it's perfectly pleasant. The outside has a texture of soft shortbread. And the inside is sort of like a hard... I'm going to say apricot jam even though it's not. It's obviously not apricot. It, a texture of an apricot jam on a Christmas cake that's gone a bit hard. For the life of me I can't figure out what fruit it is. So either it's a fruit we don't have over here or a fruit I've never had. Haven't the slightest. Haven't the slightest whatsoever. But that's okay. And that can go in the middle pile as well. But by far, the best thing was this milk candy that I am now going to finish eating.